Hey guys, welcome back. It's Word to Death, and we're back playing Valley. Uh, I just booted up the game, and it looks like you can actually just pick where you want to start, so I don't think it saves exactly the location. So what we're going to do is we just finished the Susurus Valley. Uh, we activated three pillars, and we were supposed to investigate a tree. So we're going to go back and investigate that tree. Okay, here we go. Return to explore the Titan Tree. That is where we were at last time. Okay. Woohoo! I was enjoying the running and jumping mechanic of this fine, fine game. Here we go. This is an incredibly pretty game, and I'm having a lot of fun playing it. I just gotta remember how to get back to where we were. Okay, here we go. I'm in the valley. So let's keep going that way. That's what we're gonna do. We got a little demons over there. Because, you know, clearly they're pets that people want. I mean, they're transparent. I think they're ghosts. A little worried about that. Alright. Do we have to jump over this? Come on. Woo! Don't die! There we go. I should have jumped slightly later, but I did not. Okay. Hey, these trees are dead. Let's bring them back to life so we can probably get acorns. Let's try not missing. Oops. Let's try not missing. There we go. All right. We get no acorns over here. Yeah, we got an acorn. All right. Acorns mean secrets. Acorns mean secrets. So always be running into little orbs of things so that you can make trees better. Are you alive? You're alive. Okay. Living trees, you have nothing to give me. Here we go. Now be alive. No acorn! Ha! Oh. Ha! Oh. Alright. Alright, I won't rag on the tree for not giving me an acorn. I suppose I don't need every acorn in the game. Okay. Right, there's a lot of these little energy orbs around here. Is this the tree they're talking about? This looks like this might be the tree. I mean, it's big. And if I walk around to the other side... Yes. Okay, so we were actually pretty much right where we were. Okay. We need to get up there somehow. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, because you don't want to go up the tree. What you want to do is actually fall in the hole. All right, fine. Fine, we're going to fall in the hole. Because, you know, that makes total sense. That's what I wanted to do. Mythical cannibal giants? I don't like the sound of that! Alright, so yes, you had to go under the tree, not up the tree. For reasons unknown to me. But we're down here. It's all glowy. I'm full up on energy. I'm trying not to uh, pick up energy pieces I don't actually need, just in case something happens. Alright, I got a medallion. And nothing. Okay. Let's go this way. Oh, here's another box. Press triangle to open the crate. Okay, press triangle to pick up leaf suit upgrade. Alright, to get higher and further areas by double jumping with the Icarus boost upgrade. Each boost costs one unit of energy. Okay, so now press X to jump a second time in the air. Okay, so I think we had to get down here. Oh, hey, there's a note. All right. Note from a Pathfinder. Just my luck. First day on a training run. What I run into? One of those Amrita swarms. They kept us, kept on warning us about in the briefing. The darn thing nearly killed me. Thank goodness I had enough energy to pacify the swarm. What on earth made them so damn aggressive? Huh. All right. So maybe if I get a running start, I can do this. Or not. I'm not supposed to jump on the small ledge first. 
Maybe? No? Am I supposed to jump from here? I don't know. I don't know, game. When are you telling me? Yes. All right, that was it. I had to jump from on top of the little platform. There we go. All right. And Rita swarms, huh? Wee! Boy. The only thing about the double jump is it does cost energy, so I do have to be kind of careful. Okay. I mean, it's clearly there for you to use, but on the other hand, it's also giving you a... Uh... Oh. Note from Virginia King. While pyramids are common throughout the Mesoamerica, I still couldn't believe my eyes seeing one with such structure here in the valley. Thankfully, the military had the decency to build one of their grotesque facilities a few hundred meters away. Apparently, the Pathfinders are seeking a way to get in by gathering artifacts. Okay, so we know the reels get you into the pyramids. So I think a pyramid is coming up. Okay. And again! Woohoo! Okay. Get ourselves some energy. Okay. What was that? Why is there a dramatic sting? Must be atop that elevator shaft outside. Okay. So, the life suit is not here. Life seed cradle, organic structure housing, embryonic plant. Right? Mm-hmm. All right, I guess we gotta keep moving forward. Watch out for water. Water's not our friend. Okay. All right, that's a suspicious platform. Why is there a suspicious platform there? Let's try jumping up some stuff. No! I don't have the momentum. Stoof. Okay. Let's try that again. Alright, get up on the rock. Run forward. Then jump. Okay. And then there's a platform over there, which we're gonna get to just because. Oh, I think you actually have to do this because you can't get out of here unless you're on that platform okay good game design I get it they made me look to where I was supposed to go all right all right this should just be a straight up jump uh -huh. listen game there we go getting the hang of it get the hang of it hold down and run down the slope for maximum momentum. Yeah, we've done this. We know that hint. Let's get momentum me. Alright. I stopped because I saw a thing and I thought it might be a treasure chest. Apparently it is not. It is not a treasure chest. Well, you can run pretty fast upslope too, huh? Really? I think it's just coded that you run faster when you're on this floor. Whoa! I did not expect that! Hello! Okay, this is the first time we've seen a building. Alright, give me one second. Okay, guys. So, uh, I had a small problem with the recording in that I thought the game was recording, and it wasn't. So, I'm back to where I was, but what I did was I had to make that jump again where you make the really big jump right before you get to the warehouse, and actually, if you get far enough, there is a secret. So, I found the little secret area over here. Oh, hey, there's more. Oh, this is a big secret. All right. Gives me more energy. All right, so actually, maybe screwing up wasn't such a bad thing because uh, what you didn't see was me dying over and over and over again on this jump. Oh yeah, these things, they, they do come back. They just kinda, if you wait long enough, the valley's little energy orbs will revive themselves. So yeah, you're going to see some things that are already completed at this point, and hopefully that will screw up the game. Uh, I just didn't realize that the, the recording wasn't recording, because I inserted a splice and then forgot to... Oh, but hey, the enemies are back. But yeah, now we know how to deal with these guys. Alright, you just shoot them with life energy, it pacifies them, and then you can actually touch them and get life energy back. And you don't have to, but it does help. Yeah, now I'm paranoid. It's like, am I really recording? I have to make sure I'm recording. 
yeah, yeah. I, I lost like a half hour's worth of gameplay. Uh, because I guess I didn't double tap fast enough. But again, the advantage here is we're going to get through this area and I'm not going to fumble around and you're going to see everything much faster than the first time I did it. Now I know where to go and what to do, mostly. Except for that one big jump I was having problems with. But we're going to see what we can do about that. Oh, I may have... Okay, got that one. All right, so there was an upgrade in here. I got that guy. Yeah, a lot of the upgrades were energy upgrades, and then I did pick up the grappling hook. Oh, yeah, good. The elevator resets. And now we get to the next area. And you can see the objective has changed to explore the area to discover all secrets, so you can go back to an area and explore it again, so anything that you missed, you can go pick up. So... And we're back. Okay, and then the other thing I did pick up was there is a grappling hook, and I did grab it. So the jump I was having problems with is grappling hook related. And apparently I was just making it harder than I had to. Uh-oh. Why is the elevator is stopping? No! Yeah, we I did that before. Okay, so yeah. And the thing that we're probably going to miss is the little uh, intro scenes by the girl who shows up all the time and gives us a little bit more info. It is a good opportunity for me to look and go, hey, did I miss stuff? Did I miss stuff? I don't know. Something about behind this suspicious crate. Anything behind you, suspicious crate? There's nothing behind you, suspicious crate. You're just there to throw me off my game. All right. Up and over. Here we go. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. But, you know, luckily I don't have to start the entire game over again. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's a suspicious crate that's kind of open, but then there's nothing inside. Uh, I can actually just run through the areas I was in over again. Woohoo! Almost fell to my death. Hate it when that happens. Okay. Here we go. And it's fun, too, because I was actually talking at this section about how action platformers used to be very stressful. Because you would always make a jump, and you would always just barely make it to the edge of the platform. And I think as time has gone on, they realized that you know, making that jump really, really stressful because every game had that jump. And if you played games from the 80s and 90s, you know about that jump. It was that jump that you could always just barely, kind of like that, no crap. Almost just barely make. Yep. There's a great sense of irony in that I died doing that jump while talking about that jump. Alright, well, we gotta fix up this valley here now that I trashed the place by dying. Oh. Luckily, they just keep spawning these little orbs. As long as you keep up with it, you should be good. There we go. Okay. Woohoo! Alright. Now I have to run up the steps to Skyrim! That's, that's where I learned the whole shout thing, right? Up here, up the steps. That's this game, right? Listen, you. I'm not a fan of- Hey! 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 Stop! Stop with that! Stop with that! Stop touching me! That's bad touch. If you, you're so hungry for life energy that you need to, like, get attacked by me. Why don't you pick up the little orbs that are here, huh? All right. Let's see. So, I think we gotta go this way. Yeah. And the advantage here is I am not gonna be fumbling around. I did already solve this puzzle where you shoot the trees. By shooting the trees and bring them back to life, you open up a gate up there. Alright, so let's do that. 
Ooh, don't over jump. Don't over jump. Okay. That's good. Yes, and we opened our gate. So, here we go. Up this way. To the top, getting blinded by the sun. Blinded by the light. Yeah. Pick up some of those guys. Alright, real big jump count up. Here we go. We're gonna fly. Can I make this in one? I can. I didn't have to double jump that. Excellent. Okay. Oh, there's another one of those dudes. Come on. Eat my energy. The Fly Lordship. That's an interesting one. That's a trophy I just earned, I guess, for pacifying X number of swarms. Okay, up here. Now, before, I had to run through an area to break this open. So, ah! Which I guess I don't have to do this time. But yeah, you'd kind of run around and then jump from up there to, to break it. So if you guys, you know, you're having trouble with this, that's how you get in. Alright, reminder all personnel, please keep a safe distance away from Amrita swarms. They often become territorially aggressive when in need of Amrita. If a swarm is blocking access for you, please request for a Pathfinder to pacify the swarm. And there's one more note over here. Memo, stay on the lookout for any intruders on the premises. A number of guards have reported seeing shadowy figures watching our operations from afar. It could be a sign of possible espionage. Report trespass sighting trespasser sightings at once. Trust pastor. Yeah, it's a word I can barely say. I'm not saying anything because I'm doing my Gordon Freeman impersonation. It's all these pipes. If it was an air duct, it would be even better. Okay. Back to here. Alright, so. You slide down here. And this is where we pick up from this chest. The Viper swing suit thing bajigger. So, it is kind of cool, but it takes a little bit of effort to get used to it. So, here we go. Alright, and I think what I'm doing wrong, yeah, and I think I did there, is I'm releasing it too late. Crap. Yeah, you have to kind of release before you get to the end of the swing to get sufficient momentum. And that was actually not even the one I was messed up on. I actually did that right the first time. There. Okay, I barely made that, and that's a little bit embarrassing because I did that perfectly the first time. Ugh. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's a little hard to figure out in third person, where you should be releasing that swing, or first person, where you should release that swing for maximum uh, benefit. Alright. I have totally wrecked this valley by dying. Good job, me. Where am I supposed to go again? Oh, yeah, up. That's right, up. Alright. So it is kind of cool, because if you do it from below, you get kind of a huge vertical there we go. But you get very little horizontal. Alright. Keep an eye out for things that need to come back to life. Because it's actually always beneficial to bring life to things. Because you can always get more spheres. And in here, we actually went through, and I had acorns and stuff like that, and there was an upgrade in here. So, yeah. We missed that all completely. I had to do it all over again so you guys could see the whole area. All right. So now we got to jump from here to there. Let's do this. Yes. Yeah, I think I'm releasing too late. Because if you release too late, you don't get the momentum you need. Oh, crap. Stop it with your horrible dark bees. That's what they are. Dark bees. Oh, crap. Did I almost bounce to my death? Am I bouncing to my death? I don't want to bounce to my death. That would, that would be a flub on my part. 
bouncing to your death. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Back to this area. So, pick up these orbs. Alright, I've almost completely healed the valley. Actually, it does kind of work out that I restarted this area because I was doing so poorly, I think I actually would have died eventually because I wasn't figuring out how to jump right. Okay, alright, so down the elevator shaft. Now, before, you broke through a bunch of pallets and stuff like that, but, you know, it doesn't hurt you to, to land and fall and all that goodness. Is that that guy? Up we go. Yeah. And I think the orbs we jump, we got on the way down may regenerate just in time to get them on the way back up. It did last time, but it's not super necessary. Because I'm doing much better. Yep, see, there they are. They just blink back into existence. And then you can absorb them. Come to me, orbs. And there we go. Free energy! That's what we need in reality. We just need free energy. It just generates out of nowhere and you collect it. Totally. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so... Bring that back to life. Okay, now the, the valley is at full energy. So, we have a little bit more leeway with our being alive. Okay. The grappling hook does use one bar of energy every time you use it, but considering how much energy I have, that shouldn't be an issue. Okay. So these are the training grounds. Pathfinder training area. And there's this whole thing about uh, that girl who keeps chiming in with messages, talking about how uh, she was going on these dates with this one Pathfinder and they would go to all these weird places. And she said something about, you know, guys liking early Mesoamerican culture and why, you know, why doesn't everybody like that, right? But, uh, yeah, that's gone because I was an idiot and I forgot to press button and we have to do it all over again. How did I get up the last time? Did I just jump that way? Oh, wait, there's a platform there. There we go. Okay. Jump on this guy. Yeah, I'm trying to find the easiest route to get from point A to point B, because you just got to get up there. There we go. And now, onto the cliff. Okay. Yeah, sorry this seems a little rushed, but yes, I did, I did do this. We're trying to get to the facility up there. So, the facility is where the thing is supposed to be. Alright, you. Let's dance. Gotcha. Gotcha, you and your dark bees. You keep your dark bees to yourself. Nobody wants your dark bees. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, hey. I actually missed a box. Huh. No from researcher, Pathfinder Squad, point tally for the daily exorcists. Land Sharks 48, Raptors 43, Valkyries 37, Buck Rider 37, Wild Roses 29. That means absolutely nothing to me, but hey, whatever. Okay, now, time to run and jump and swing. And there we go. Okay. So, we are now at the part where I was screwing up real bad. And I think the thing that I was screwing up real bad was I was not releasing the grappling hook on time. So this is actually where I was dying. Alright, so I saw a video, I saw a guy do it, he did it on his first shot. It didn't seem to be a problem, I don't know why it's giving me issues. There. No, I, re I released just a second too late. Just a second too late. Again. That's what it is. I'm releasing just slightly too late. I need more forward momentum. All right, and it might help too if I actually start from further back. Yeah, come back to life. 
jerk things. Jerk fine. There we go. But yeah, I was making a big deal out about jumps before and how some jumps are really difficult and they stole your progress in the game and here we are! We're at that jump. Come on, buddy. I released earlier that time. I released earlier that time. Why? No! What the crap? Why can I not do this? I do not understand. I do not understand. Alright, and you can kind of optimize giving yourself more chances by picking up the little spheres and making sure all the vines and stuff are still alive. It takes a lot of time. Just do it. Just do it right. Just do it right. No again. No again. No again. You know what? I'm not going to do anything except do this. Here we go. Alright, now I'm probably releasing too early, because I'm conscious of the fact that I'm releasing too early. I tried a lot of stuff. I tried, like, swinging back around on it. I tried a bunch of things. And I could not, for whatever reason, get it to work right. Alright. Let's try it again. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! There we go. We did it. 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 Oh. We actually did it. Okay. Okay. All right. We did it. Now, we just have to do this regular jump. Which shouldn't be that hard. Should not be that hard. The last one shouldn't have been that hard either, but it was. Okay. Now we are in unexplored territory. I got past the part I could not get by before. Uh, I like how they have these boxes, but they have nothing inside. They're dead and empty. Dead on the inside. Nothing alive in those boxes. Oh, but there are some things up here. Okay, what's in this? Come here. Show me your contents. Show me the contents. I got a medallion. Okay. And behind the said boxes? Just death? Oh, that's where I would put a secret, is behind something really obvious. What do I know? I'm not a game designer. Oh, there's an acorn over there. Yeah, get the acorn! Okay. Alright, now we're doing a little better. Got most of our energy back. The valley doesn't seem to be horrifyingly butchered. Oh, it's a jeep. Okay. Somebody got up here before. How did you drive up here, buddy? Oh. Nope. Nope. Be alive. That ought to do it. Okay, now we're back. Back at full health. Pendulum. Oh. Soma facility. All right. If I go in here, it would make the video too long, so I think this is a good place to break. We will stop, and then next time we will come back to the Soma facility. Does it show up? It does not show up on the map. All right. 
will I be? You know what? Let's press forward because I don't want to do that jump again. Ever. Find a way inside the abandoned facility. Alright, so if I have to, I'll just make it a really long video. How long has this been abandoned? Oh, Amrita packs to restore small energy to your suit. Okay, well, I don't need any more of those, so I'll just leave them be. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, this doesn't show up as an objective, so I can't fast travel here. Maybe if I get inside the facility, it will update my save point. And then, then, I can quit. Yeah, that might be, that might be a better solution. Is let's get inside first. Up the steps. Ah, this looks like the way I'm supposed to go. Okay. Because, you know, like an idiot, I ignored it completely. Aha! Alright. So, obviously, they want us to go up there. Uh, is anything worthwhile down here? Oh, let's just take a quick look. See if maybe they hid some boxes. Because it would be a, a jerk place to hide some boxes. It's, like, right behind everything. Uh, I see something. There we go. We got a thing. What do you got? Another medallion. Okay. Sometimes it's good to poke around. See the secrets. Suspiciously populated with random crap, but I don't see anything else here. No more glowing boxes. What are you? No smoking. So life energy that comes from these creatures that you absorb is it flammable? Is that why we don't want to smoke, or is it just generally not a good idea? You know, because cancer. Yeah. Listen here. These jumps are not that hard. Oh, one of those guys. Let's dance. Duh, oh, you dark bees. Dark bees. Alright, up the ramp. Come here. Spit all that energy making you not hungry, not attacking me. And we'll get some of it back. Yeah, they go from enemies to being sources of energy, so that's actually kind of a cool concept. Okay. Yep. Oh, it's just a vine. I was like, what can I bring back to life? Can I bring that thing back to life? Alright, so we get a running start. Gets us over here. Pretty good. Okay, well, you should have seen that one coming. The army wants to just gather up this weird energy source. Alright, I think we go down from here, because it doesn't look like up is a good option. Ah, no, we go this way. Amrita stored. Giant glowing thingamajigger over there. Alright, running start. Probably double jump. Yeah, we make it. Okay. Ah, Amrita storage. Yeah. Can you suck energy out of this? No. Okay, that would be too easy. All right, so this looks like the way in. Oh, or not. But it does give me Gordon Freeman flashbacks. Okay. What the heck? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, that one was different. It wasn't purple, it was green. Why were you green? Why were you green? Uh, it was a little bit tougher than the others. It wasn't that tough, but... Okay... Hmm... Alright, I see this thing. Why do they want me to... Alright, maybe if I go over here... Ah! 
ah, they want me to jump on the thingamajigger. But I could also possibly explore up there. Let's try exploring up there first. Ooh, can I get on top? Almost! Almost! That would have been cool. Okay. Yes! A secret. Okay. Alright, well, that's before I jump down in the hole. Because I believe that's how we're going to get this done. Alright, I don't think using the Viper Strike again is a good idea. I think we're just going to jump for it. Or not. I missed it. Okay. What if we just go straight up and then down? Because that kind of looks like it would make more sense. Woohoo! Here we go! Okay, explore the research facility in search of the life seeds. So, if I stop here, we can explore this facility next time, and we don't have to worry about doing that jump. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope I didn't spoil too much by kind of skipping ahead. I didn't really mean to, but again, I did not record some stuff and had to go back and do it again. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.